So now I'm going to show you how to roll out a level slab. Slab, excuse me. So it helps to have um, two pieces of wood. Um, I just call them slats to set next to on each side because then it helps you to have a uniform um, height on it. You can use different things. You can use a rolling pin, um, large dowels. Uh, there's a lot of things you can use to roll clay out. But it's important when you start that you don't press too hard. Uh, so you can just kind of start in the center. It also helps to make sure the rolling pin's clean. You'll get little flakes of clay in it if you don't. This one could be cleaner. So you're going from the center and you're slowly rolling out. The nice thing about the wood is it um, stops it. it. It prevents you from pressing too hard. So that's nice. So now for this particular project, it doesn't necessarily need to be completely um, level or perfect for with what we're, what we're doing. We're making clay calaveras. So what helps too is to take, um, I have this little tool, you can just use a knife. And let's see. That way you can just lay it um, flush up against it too. Again, you can just use a knife. You don't have to use a tool like that to do this. I'm going to give it a little bit of space to move because the clay does kind of flatten out a little bit. working with clay is you can use anything as a tool. So when I was in Austin, Texas, I found these cool cookie cutters um, that are really neat that we're going to use to cut out uh, our clay calaveras. So you're just going to choose one that you want to punch out. Oh, we'll go with this one. <coughs> so you can press the design in before you cut it out. Make sure you have equal pressure throughout the whole um, cookie cutter. If you don't like the way it looks, you can always re-roll it and do it again. Slowly pull it off. There we go. And now what you can do is take this, this part of it and cut it, actually cut it out. So make sure it lines up. And then press down. And then what would be helpful would be to pull the clay away from. And this is fresh clay, so it's very wet. If you pull the clay away from it, it'll have a cleaner line. It should have a cleaner line. All right, let's put this right here. All right. You kind of have to pull the clay out gently kind of encourage it to come out of, it kind of gets, wants to get stuck in there. So you need to do this part slowly. Okay. So if it's a little misshapen, you can kind of pat it down lightly on the flat surface. Okay, so here is a clay calavera. We are going to let these dry out and fire them in the kiln, uh, bisque fire them, and then you'll be able to paint them, okay? Before your piece dries out, please, please flip your piece over using a tool. Put your name on the back. I would even recommend putting the period, class period. I'm just putting example. Okay. All right, so that is how you're going to make uh, the first steps of how you're going to make your clay calavera.